Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here. Make sure to click all the things. Subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. And follow me on all the social medias. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another video review, and today um, I want to talk about Masters of the Universe Revelation. It just dropped on Netflix, and I watched uh, the series today, and I want, kind of want to talk about it. So, warning, major spoiler alerts uh, for the series. Uh, we're going to talk about it in depth and uh, my thoughts and uh, views on the series. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, first of all, I did find um, a He-Man figure from Masters of the Universe Revelation for the uh, Masterverse series. And, uh, you know, I got to say, uh, first off, uh, this is the only figure they had. They had two He-Mans. Uh, I was hoping to find a Skeletor, maybe an Evil Lynn and uh, Moss Man, but uh, they just had he so I picked him up, obviously. And uh, I gotta say, looking at the toy, it looks better in hand than it does in pictures because it's very stylized from the show, of course. And a lot of people have uh, argued about the uh, proportions on the chest and the arms and the head, all that stuff. But it actually looks a lot better in hand. I will say the head sculpt still looks dumb to me. I don't like it. It looks very teenager-esque. It doesn't look manly enough uh, for He-Man. So, uh, yeah, I, I guess it is what it is. I will do a proper review on this figure at some point here in the near future. So, uh, yeah, let's... Let's talk about He-Man Masters of the Universe Revelations. Or Revelation. So, first off, um, there's huge debunkle about this uh, whole series because everybody's like, it's going to be woke. It's going to be all about Tila. She's going to be a lesbian. It's going to be this. It's going to be that. And it's going to be the other. So first and foremost, I you know, and, and Kevin Smith came out and he you know he's the executive producer and he was promoting this and like hey, it's gonna be a, a a direct sequel to the filmation series, blah 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 blah. First of all, Kevin Smith flat out lied. Um, all the promotional stuff was a lie. This is not a sequel to the original filmation stuff. Um it's it's its own thing, and that's fine. I don't mind that, um, but come at it that way. Say, hey, look, guys, this is a, a new take on He Man, and uh, we're gonna we got this idea, we got this idea, we got this idea. But that's not what they came to the fans with. They were like, oh, it's gonna be a direct sequel to the filmation stuff. Bullshit. It's not. Uh, so first and foremost. If you go in to watch this, it's not a direct sequel. Not at all. Um, there's a lot of strong ties to it, but there's also a lot of strong ties to the toys, to Masters of the Universe classics. And there's a lot of ties to the mini comics. There's lots of Easter eggs. Is this a bad show? Um, no. Not really. There's problems with it, but it's not too bad. You know, I, I, I got to say I did enjoy watching the majority of it. Um, is it the best? No, not at all. Um, there are problems. There's some big problems with it. So first of all, um, you know, the whole promo of it was was the continuing adventures of the characters from the filmation series. That's a lie. That's not what happens. Uh, this is exactly what all the rumors were. It's the Tila show and her girlfriend. Um, this is all about the women 
and it's got a lot of PC bullshit, uh, liberal, progressive, uh, white men suck, and uh, that we're we're gonna do this uh, our own way, and it's uh, it's really kind of sad because I try to keep politics out of entertainment, but this show kind of brings it up, and it's really really. Kind of sad because if they left that subplot out of it, it would have been a great show. If they would have flat out told us this is Tila discovering the the revelation that Prince Adam is He-Man and uh, dealing with it and his death and what happens after, I would have been down. I've been like, hey, this is an interesting idea. It's different, it's kind of fun, and let's see what happens. It's an interesting story arc. But the problem was they misrepresented everything from the gate. Um, and then they made Tila this angry, butch, gross, lesbian, stereotype character. And it's boo. All about it is boo. It's just terrible. And then uh, one of the Eternian guards from the old series is her quote-unquote girlfriend. They don't directly say that, but they kind of imply it in the series. Um, and it's a shame. Uh, the engineer friend of hers is a fun character. She's a nice character. It's very cool. It's really Tila is my biggest problem where uh, they just, they butchered her, literally butchered her. And it's a damn shame. Uh, if they would have pulled that subplot out, really if, so there's a scene at the beginning in the first episode where she gets pissed off at everybody and she goes, you're all liars, blah, 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 blah. I'm done. And she takes her little helmet or tiara, whatever you want to call it, off, and her hair falls down. She looked awesome. If they would have kept that look the rest of the series and dropped the man-hating, I would have loved this series. It would have been great. But those two points ugh, really stuck it to me. And probably, you know, because I'm, you know, a guy. I'm like, and, and guys... Watch He-Man. This is really all about the girl squad um, of uh, the of He-Man characters, and it's it's kind of dumb. It's kind of lame, and it's oh god, it's so PC. It's it makes you want to choke. But that being said, if you can get that out of it, the a general storyline is pretty interesting, and. If they would have changed a few things up, it would have been great. Um, I've got to say, Evil Lynn, the best character in the entire series. Um, love her character. Love the actress. Love the animation. Love her story arc. I mean, it's, it's all, for me, it's all about Evil Lynn. Love the character. Um, He-Man's an afterthought, and he's the problem. Uh, Duncan, Man at Arms, same kind of way. Um, Orko, not too bad. I just don't like his character design. Um, they make him a little weird with like the weird creepy nails and the kind of funny eyes and that kind of stuff. I, I didn't care for that much. Although the, the O on Orko, they make some runes in his shirt, which I really do dig that. Um... Mark Hamill as Skeletor did a pretty good job. He was kind of the Joker for most of it that he was in it, uh, which is, eh, you know, so so. And he pulled some uh, Palpatine lines uh, in it, which was really, really nice. I've got to say, the Easter eggs in this series are amazing. Just to pick up all the Easter eggs. Are great from the opening sequence uh, where they've got commission art for Masters of the Universe classics. I believe it was. Um, it looks like the old toys, the old artwork, and they kind of go through the mythos is amazing. And uh, there's so many references to 
verbiage and lines that they say, like, you know, I've got the power and, you know, by the power of Grace Cole. And there's, there's so much of the warrior goddess, um, all that kind of stuff, man at arms. There's so much verbiage that is great. And they really kind of stick on the tongue in cheek jokes from filmation, which is great. I mean, this is, its own series. They just said, hey, we've got our own Masters of the Universe series going here, and they've got nods to everything Masters of the Universe. There's, uh, you know, the, the 2000X, there's the Filmation, they've got Wonder Bread, He-Man in it, they got Vicor in it, um, King Grayskull's in it, which they do a race swap and make him a black guy, which personally I didn't care for. I felt that was a bit pandering, but it wasn't too terribly bad um, because most, I, I think 2000X had King Grayskull as a, and the Masters Universe uh, Classics had uh, King Grayskull. Adam was a descendant of, and this makes it, they're not descendants. E Eternity has multiple heroes, like they've got the Warrior Goddess in it, Vicor, Wondar Man, um, they've got a few, a hero shows up, uh, which is awesome. They all got uh, verbal lines and that kind of stuff. So that's all cool. Uh, so I wasn't too terribly over, overly upset about that, but it was kind of, it was a bit pandering. Uh, but the, the actor who played the character was really good. He sounded awesome. So, um, yeah. So, lots of great Easter eggs, like we get the Eternia playset and Preternia. They got Subternia, so from classics, you've got the underground uh, underworld uh, where Scareglow is at, which is pretty awesome. Um, the whole, you know, they, they even make reference to the Masters of the Universe movie from 1987, like uh, the discs where they stand on and fly. And then at the very end of the show, uh, when uh, Skeletor kind of, you know, uh, you know, gets the power of Grayskull, which I called, by the way, in uh, my review on Skelegod, it was Skeletor getting the sword and saying, by the power of Grayskull, I have the power. And then he becomes Skelegod. Um, he's got this big hologram type of, thing over Castle Grayskull, like the movie, um, which was awesome. Um, I did not like how Grayskull was like a fake hologram over the Hall of Wisdom or whatever it was. It was a different kind of castle, with the, the, the elders and all that crap. And I'm like, that was pretty lame. I did not care for that. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> Sorceress was pretty good, and they kind of teased that uh, Tila's her daughter, and, they, and they're like, oh, I got another I, I got another secret, another secret, and she's like, I don't want any more secrets, blah, 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 and they keep pushing off, so that'll be pushed till season two. Um, we do get some deaths of some characters, like um, uh, Orko, and uh, I don't think he's dead, though. I think Orko is going to come back in season two, because uh, he, quote-unquote, sacrifices himself uh, in the uh, Subternia with Scareglow, and I think he's going to kind of come back. Um, Moss Man was kind of fun. Um, Oppenheimer, who did the original voice of Skeletor, actually the voice of Moss Man, which was pretty good. Uh, that was pretty cool uh, to hear that. And um, Roboto, we, uh, Roboto dies in it, and Roboto was actually really, really fun. I, I did like that. I, I did not like the fact. So the toys kind of give some things away. Skelegon gives the big uh, reveal at the end of the series away, which is kind of a shame. I'm hoping that we get some variants of the characters that we saw in the show. Like uh, Triclops has this whole religion of machinery and basically starts turning people into Borg in uh, Snake Mountain, which is interesting. But it would make for a good figure, for sure. 
Um, Whiplash gets kind of cybernetic. Uh, Trap Jaw gets a little little cybernetic in it. There's a super creepy scene with this uh, chick um, that was uh, nuts in that. I think maybe just maybe something will happen that does uh, make the show worth it uh, still because it's still okay. Can't completely hate it. Um, VY Mega, absolutely. It's not a bad show. There's just a few things they fucked up. Uh, absolutely, 100%. They fucked Teela up. Uh, they lied to the fans about it. If they were honest to the fans from the upfront and said, hey, this is a series about Teela dealing with the lies of uh, He-Man and the royal family and all the main characters and her coming to self with that would have been fine. And if they didn't make her an angry lesbian, oh God, geez, I hated it. Like her look is so bad. Um, but uh, yeah, Eva Lynn, phenomenal. Loved that character. And I also love the fact that uh, the minions of Skeletor were falling over Eva Lynn, like uh, Beast Man. I mean, He's that bulldog uh, guy that's, I'm going to do anything for this chick, you know, F you, blah, 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 blah. That was fantastic. Uh, Merman, that was really good. He was like uh, the guy that was trying to get her, never could, and you're going to regret this. That was fun. I wouldn't even call her angry lesbian, more like a Karen. <laughs> yeah, definitely Karen-esque. Uh, but yeah, no, the, the shaved head with the hair hanging out with the other girl. Um, she got jilted by He-Man. Like the whole thing was, yeah, I, I like He-Man, He-Man, He-Man. Wait, what? It's my friend zone friend, Adam. Will you lie to me kind of thing? And then, and then I don't know. The whole thing was kind of, kind of weird that way. I agree. Tila looked bad. Absolutely, Mike. I mean, she looks really, really, really bad. If they kept her with the hair when she took the helmet off and her hair was down and kept that look the rest of the series, she would have been fine. Um, I don't know. They went so PC and woke with it. It was it was crap tacit. And oh geez, that that that's the biggest stink point to me on it. The rest of the storyline, not bad. I mean, if they didn't lie to us and told us what it was, I would have been down. Been down for it. But yeah, Teela is the worst character in the show. The worst looking character in the show. The second worst looking character in the show for me was Orko because his eyes looked weird and he had a weird round face in the black. In, I don't know, I just didn't like it. Um, I get they were kind of trying to go for the 2000X-esque kind of visage along with the filmation, but it just wasn't vibing for me. Um, other characters in the show that I really like, Scareglow was awesome. That was a highlight. Loved Scareglow. Um, who else was really, really good in the show? Moss Man was pretty good. I did like him. Loved all the Preternia heroes. Loved Wonder Man. Uh, the Wonder Bread He-Man was fantastic. Loved uh, Hero. Loved Vicor. Loved the warrior goddess that nobody understood. Loved the fact that in... Preternia, they called him Flea Man because Adam was the only one that didn't choose his champion uh, form and kept his original form, and they called him Flea Man, and uh, the warrior goddess uh, called him Flea Man at one point. Um, that was pretty fun. Hey, Ridiculous Badger Games, uh, welcome to the chat. Um... Yeah, so very interesting. Very interesting show. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great. Uh, again, if they didn't lie to us 
And if they got rid of the man hating out of it, like, because it was all about, oh, I hate King Randor, I hate, you know, Duncan, I hate He Man, and I'm going off with my girlfriend and do this. If they got rid of that subplot, would have been great. Although I did like the whole um, royal family feud with the the subject class. That was an interesting idea. I didn't like Randor running everybody off. I thought that was kind of crap. So I don't know. There are things I liked, things I didn't like. So um, it was five episodes. I thought it was supposed to be six, but it was five episodes. So what I want to do is um, take a look at some stuff. So let's share the screen. Share screen. All right. Overall, I think I think it was a decent show. I just don't like the fact I was lied to at the beginning. I don't like the fact that they tried to hide, you know, all this wokeness and that and the other. If they didn't make Tila look like an angry lesbian, if they would have kept the look with her hair down, I would have been good with it. Um, oh, yeah, they cut him off. Yeah, for sure. Um, if they would have um, dropped the whole uh, anti-man thing in it, I think I would have been happy with it, and um, really, it's 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 the fact that don't lie to us and keep the woke crap out of it, and it would have been a great show. Um, Tila's the worst character in the whole show. Eva Lynn was the best part of the show, uh, to be honest. I think, and we didn't get enough He-Man. We didn't get enough Skeletor. Uh, the other characters were okay. Um, you know, they kind of showed up here and there, like either in a flashback or now we're doing this and this and that and the other, which eh, it is what it is. Um, I hope we get another wave of uh, Revelation figures with like the, um, you know, religious uh, zealot uh, Triclops, I want the one-eyed, uh, you know, Merman, the cybernetic, um, you know, Whiplash, the cybernetic, uh, Trapjaw, those kind of characters, um, Man-at-Arms, um, with, uh, the cloak and all that stuff, Roboto would be a great figure to get, Sorceress, um, you know, those kind of things I think would be very, very cool. I'd like to see those characters, Evil Lynn. Can't we get that character because that actually has a lot of different points in the show, which is awesome. Uh, so, is it a bad show? No, it's not. Is it a great show? No, it's not. Um, had they not lied to the fans and marketed it properly as Tila getting disillusioned with... Uh, uh, the Masters of the Universe and her going through her quest after the death of He-Man, if they would have marketed that way, I think a lot more people would have jumped on board. Um, they didn't, and that pissed a lot of people off. Um, making her a woke, angry lesbian pissed a lot of people off. Um, if they would have got rid of those things, they would have been okay. Um, the race swap of Castle, or, or, or Grayskull, eh, that's one of those, me personally, I didn't like it, but it doesn't kill the show. Um, that's a minor gripe on it, so they made it so that, uh, it's, you know, like an alternate universe, right? It's not, you know, Adam is not a descendant of that guy, so sure, why not? Um, I can deal with that. But the rest of it, so woke, so make women more powerful and, and, and this, that, the other. And that's fine, but you don't do that with He-Man. Do it with She-Ra. That's the whole point of She-Ra, not He-Man. 
I, I don't know. That That's just the way I think. What do you guys think? Uh, overall, I think it was an okay show. It wasn't the best. Um, there were problems with it, but there were a lot of things I did enjoy. So I didn't overall hate it. Uh, I didn't overall love it. Um, I love we got Stink War. I love we got the original characters. Um, I liked we got some variations of those characters, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so what do you guys think? Uh, do you think it's going to affect the sale of these figures? Um, I think it's going to impact the Revelation figures. I really question if we're going to get a second line of these particular figures. Um, I don't think it's going to impact Origins. I don't think it's going to impact uh, WWE Motu. Um, WWE Motu is huge. Um, I think Origins is doing pretty well. Um, what do you guys think? Is it just, you know, Mattel trying to get a much Motu stuff out as possible before uh, Universal takes over the rights and uh, they're trying to, you know, focus on the woke crowd that's so loud and obnoxious right now? Um, I don't know. Um, I do know Kevin Smith lied. That's disappointing. Uh, to me, I've liked his films forever. I've met him at com uh, conventions, so it kind of sucks that he did that. That puts him down a few notches for me. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think that's all i got to say about it, really. Wasn't bad. Wasn't great. They lied to us. They would have taken all the woke bullshit out of it. Would have been great. Loved the Easter eggs and um, interested to see what happens in season two. So there it is, guys. My review. Uh, so many spoilers uh, for Masters of the Universe Revelation. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear them. Jump over to my Facebook page. Join the conversation there. Um, upload pictures of your collections. Uh, videos, uh, links to your videos. I'd love to see that stuff. You guys can follow me on Instagram at uh, Ultra Maximus Reviews or Twitter at Ultra underscore underscore Maximus. I'm also giving away free action figures every time we hit another 1,000 subscribers. Uh, so when we get to 6,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away an action figure. Um, we get 7,000. I'm going to give away an action figure. So make sure you like this video, subscribe, hit the alert button, have your friends subscribe, have your family subscribe, get some free action figures. Uh, you know, I'm going to pay for the shipping, all that stuff uh, here in the continental U.S. Uh, good times all around. And as always, look for more videos in the future. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to click all the things, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos. And follow me on all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.